Hi, and welcome back. So today, I've disassembled the holiday train engine, moved things around, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a mod. And the mod is this pretty awesome piece. So what this is, is from, it is compatible with power functions, as you can see, by the plug, okay? And it is made by, um, this is made by Mold King. Lego does not make this piece. And uh, it's a fogger or a steamer. It makes smoke. This train is gonna have actual smoke. This is awesome. Um, so I'm gonna mod this. Now it's pretty big. It's uh, five by four uh, bricks, which is kind of on the large size. Uh, what I like about this is it's not a DIY solution because again, it's compatible with power functions. And I'm gonna hook this on top of the constant power from the power function receiver. So it's always smoking and it just uses water. It came with this little pipette and you put water in the main stack. I originally thought you put water in this other hole, which was obviously a big mistake. I messed up. I don't know where the water went, but it was not smoking. And when I put it in here, it was smoking. So uh, we're going to build this in and uh, get it, get it going. Um, I could put it on the second channel if I wanted and then turn it on when I want it to smoke But I think I just want it to smoke when it when it you know when it's on so um, I was had come up with a way to build this uh, onto the train and Still keep you know keep this well build it onto the train and uh, Keep it looking decent as a train so I, I just did a test I don't really have any kind of instructions how to do it because I kind of am winging this, but you know, we're going to just see how, how, how it goes because I'm kind of winging it. So I am able to get the controls back in, which is nice. Um, so that's good. This is all secure. This goes here. And what I was doing was just clipping it on and then wrapping the wire up. Uh, and then the roof can fit on anyway with the wire kind of in there like, like this, like that. Uh, actually, was I missing pieces here? Oh no, yeah, you gotta put layers on and they're not that hard to get on. They go right on, why isn't it? There you go. What happened to the other one? There it is. So yeah, this is gonna smoke. It's really cool. I'm gonna show you, I tested it and it does work really well. Um, like I said, it was finicky at first. It wasn't smoking when I right away. So I had to kind of mess with it. But what I'm going to do is just join these two, the power and the, so it'll smoke at all times. Now, the way I made it look kind of good is I put this on. I got to remember how I did all this. <laughs> I think I did this here. Yep. Okay. And then this went here, but how did I do it? I think I did, how did I do that? No, wait, something's not, oh, that's because I got this backwards. That's the problem. That was what I did. So this goes like this, and this, that's what it was. This went here, uh, and then this went like this. There we go. Oh, come on. You gotta stay on there, buddy. Why is that pushing off of that? Because, let me see, hang on. So when I push down, this is hitting this. So, all right, we gotta fix the cow catcher by removing this, I guess. Let's try it out. Oh. So this is very much a, you know, mod that I'm trying to make work. So is it, it's not perfect. And the problem is every time I bump it, something falls off because, you know, it's not 100% exactly perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, there we go. And then, so basically what else I did was to fill in the gaps on the sides, I put these down here. So it looks pretty good. And then to fill these sides, I gotta remember what I did. <laughs> oh, I put these in here. Didn't I have something down here? 
Yeah, I think I put, did I put these here? Yes. But I had them. Oh, come on. I think I had it like this. Yeah. But I had another one. Okay, so I got it back together. It looks, I think, decent. I think it looks good. And then the only problem is the stack. Now, the problem is that this Mold King, um, the stack, the bricks don't really stay on it very well. So it's kind of like, like this whole thing can pop right off. This the uh, Well, actually, these hold pretty good, but... Yeah, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. Um, and I would like some like round pieces on here. But let me show you how it works. Let me um, bring the train around here. Hold on. And let me put you here so you can see it. Let's make sure you can, it's in the frame. Right, let me make sure. She's all right, so all you got to do is you put you pipette some of this water with the included pipette that comes with the smoker, right? And you want to put it directly in here, directly in the chimney part. They say don't put more than two squirts worth, so that's what we'll do. We'll just put two. It gets a lot of air for some reason. I don't know why, but... Okay, so now, oops, so now if I turn power on to this, that should start smoking if it's working properly. I think it takes a second to warm up, but it, there we go. There we go. So I've put a black backdrop so you can easier see the smoke. It's easier for you to see the smoke and I'm looping it. These are different trips around, not the same trip, but I'm editing it so you can see it. And here you can see, sometimes it stops and all of a sudden it'll start again. I got to fiddle with the smoker. Again, mine is a used one. I bet you if you got a new one, but this thing works great. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it makes some serious smoke. It looks awesome going around the track. You can see it real well in front of the black backdrop. I mean, you can see it anyway, but in the video. Yeah, it works pretty well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.